In my previous video, I showed you guys how you can install Webmin server on your Ubuntu server. In this video, I'm going to explain some basic features of Webmin. So let's start from the uh, menu button. So you can back up the configuration of Webmin. So you can select any of this module to backup or you can select all of them. And then you can backup to the local drive or you can use FTP or SFTP or you can restore on the same page. And you can also set a scheduled backup on uh, with this feature. Okay, and then there is one change language and theme. You can change the theme and the language here. So currently you can see the global language is set to English. And then you can see the webmin action logs here. And you can set up the email notifications as well. So under webmin configuration, uh, there are like several things uh you can do here related to the webmin so webmin themes and trusted referrals and you can set up uh the keys for the users who can just only log into this webmin server and there is specific feature of webmin users as well like if you don't want the ubuntu users to log in into the webmin you can just separately create uh, users here or you can convert your ubuntu server or unix uh, users uh, for the webmin under system and the last thing you can see it's users and groups so you can create groups you can change the password you can create uh, users uh, update their passwords or delete users or disable them and under system logs you can see the sys logs and uh, this is uh, it's going to show the, like the last hundred logs so uh, like you can see it says new session four for this user and uh, what what's the time here 18 september 2 47 so let me try one more session here and uh, let me show you how it shows Okay, so I logged in and if I refresh this page, it's gonna show me the latest logs as well. So yeah, at 2.54, there is another session connected and previously it was 2.57. Uh, uh, the software packages update, you can update whatever is installed here. Uh, by just clicking update the selected packages and then uh, there is another one uh, you can set up boot up ser uh, for services and the shutdown as well so you can see a bunch of services here which are already active and running and some of them are inactive and dead so you can do that as well create a system d service as well and under change password you can see all of the users who can log into the webmin or there are like uh, ubuntu server users here you can see this is the user i created for uh, this ubuntu machine and then under servers whatever server you have installed it's going to show you up here and uh, so you can send a single command in the command shell and uh, there is custom commands. You can set custom commands, create a SQL command. And then the best feature, what I uh, recommend using this is the file manager because you don't need any other applications to uh, get the files or upload the file. So you can just uh, simply click on any folder and download the file. Uh, let me show you one of this file. So you can just simply download or if you want to upload you can click on file and upload to current uh, directory okay and then you can even go to the terminal by just using this portal you can see i'm here i can type any command and then 
uh, about the IP address. So you can update the IP address in the networking. So let's go to the network configuration and network interface. So you can see we have just one interface here. Just click on that and then select static IP configuration. Type the IP address and the network, uh, the net mask, save and apply. And your IP address will be updated. Servers. So currently I have this SSH server and uh, the read user mail, which are like uh, they come when you install the Ubuntu server. So I'm going to install another server and it will show up here under uh, servers and also in the networking because it's related to the network. So you can see here I have bandwidth monitoring and uh, Linux IPv4 and stuff like that, but I don't have that server showing up here. Okay, before we jump into the installation of that server, I want to show you this as well. So this is the notification sidebar. You can, wherever uh, page you are loading, but still you can see the dashboard uh, of uh, like the resources of your server here. And then you can favorite things and there are notifications as well. Uh, let's say if you have updates coming up or you want to update anything. So it's going to show up right here in the notification bar okay so i'm going to install uh, the vpn the pptp vpn server so we will just put in one command to install the pptp server and then after that we will do everything on this portal so if you want to know about that you just click on the video above and i'll see you in that video